okay for the tire generation i think this pdf will definitely help as in the previous video uh, we have uh, generated the tidex file okay like this uh, you can see here we have generated it now after that uh, uh, we need to uh, edit the tidex file okay we need to edit the tidex file so let's go with this you can go right click it and uh, uh, open it with uh, notepad okay and uh, here you can observe that you can edit the data like nominal section width nominal aspect ratio and all this link like vertically uh, ray fender or vertical okay so these things <coughs> you need to get it from user manual what these things are okay it is for spring and it is for damper okay i would like to tell you now and the data you can edit okay or you can keep default then uh, again back to pdf after that if you after you edit the data you need to find one thing you need to find one thing like you need to find this tire util x exe from the directory uh, this directory which is uh, ipg installation path okay so this tire util exe will be available in this path and you have to copy it from that part and you have to paste it here okay you have to paste it here after you paste it here you will uh, simply see you will simply see that the tire util file can be used to generate your tires generate your tire p250 because <laughs> now we don't have any p250 file here okay so for that uh, you need to do these things like first you need to go to this directory and you need to create uh, the code which is shown here like okay see uh, you need to go then you put cd then put this directory after you put the directory you need to paste the code like if uh, this this is uh, this will be now as a demo show but if your name is different put the name like if denotes the input file okay denotes the input file and off okay let's dash off then there is the output file okay just uh, keep the p2.50 uh, as here okay and uh, click enter then this code will run and will generate uh, the p250 and these files okay so this is the command prompt i hope you will be able to do it then after that let's uh, move to scenario editor okay. in the scenario editor uh, you can uh, you can create new root definition you can load okay there are also examples available uh, you can import you can export you can save and save as in the road there is tool called measuring tool you can do uh, you can also import the background image okay you can also add roads uh, let's see now the options are here okay okay i think like the straight road if you want the straight road you can add you want to add turn you can add you can add glutoid point list you can add pile virtual junction direct junction or junction okay just write these things uh, by yourself we will understand then uh, this is for lane section this is for uh, you can get this lane and this is for 3d surface okay that's important thing okay then elevation profile slope profile camber profile uh, this is for bumps okay important thing another important thing like bump you can add friction okay the friction 
you can see uh, if I if I select this patch to this patch, you can you can put the friction like coefficient of friction here. You can put the width and all these things, start point, end point, material like visualization, all these things you can do. Uh, the options are available here in the in the bump if i select the beam then i go to from this to this then this is the bump then its height width all these things we can do if if we are giving the elevation and then we just need to select the start point and the end point and the, this its grade we can put here okay these options are available if, if you want to add the uh, traffic barrier lane spline we can do definitely we can add the uh, this markers we can uh, add the scenarios like bridge we can add tunnel we can add houses we can add trees we can add trees like this we can add trees okay this okay this tree patch is there now we can add terrain and uh, basically um, we can just fit the minimum height and the maximum height uh, let's say it's 30 and then generate it okay, if generated let's see here the terrain is generated now and after that you can add the the root root like adding root is important because the vehicle will follow the route and after all uh, this data is said you can go to this 3d preview and you can see the 3d preview okay you can see the 3d preview Uh, if you use the control uh, click control and use your mouse then you can just go through it and you can see the tiny bump that we created is here okay and if you uh, if you just use your mouse you can just uh, turn around okay and if you put a control and then mouse then you can just go through it okay and the only mouse is used for reward that's about the ipg movie now let's come to the ipg movie in the ipg movie uh, you can load your vehicle okay like examples and all and then uh, you can export it okay export it but for the export your test run and your simulation must be ready like you have uh, you should will be uh, done with your all parameterization you should be done it's everything should be finalized and at the end you can export it uh, in the size you want in the frame rate you want in the quality you want okay then in the view uh, there is quality setting there is an extended setting okay you can add logos in the extended setting in the quality setting you can see many options are there and then in the picture in picture you can see okay these are the basic options you can also overlay like if i overlay root view then it will be shown here uh, okay it will be shown here and then freeze colorization all these things you can study from the user manual of ipg movie which is from here okay help user manual it's simple and in the scene you can change environment you can change the background like let's say it's on fuji to rocks okay so it's changed now okay it's changed so these things you can do in the ipg move like you can change the camera you can change the quality and one more thing i would like to add is uh, the abrax mode abrax mode is really useful just go to abrax mode and the what is actually going on in the simulation we will see it now we haven't loaded any vehicle so let's try and uh, test run okay let's start let's start the test run. okay 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 so we have done um, a changes which are uh, not okay for the model so it's showing there okay because we did a random changes in suspension okay so those are not 
Okay, then we also change the um, what you can say. We also change the hey uh, power trend. So that's also not okay with the uh, examples. So let's uh, select again uh, default Tesla model, and now I think it will definitely work. Okay, now it will. Uh, okay. Now it will work definitely. See, see, it worked, but the speed of the simulation was very high. Okay, it was maximum. So let's keep it real time and again start. Let's, okay. See. Okay. So this this is what I was saying. Okay, vehicle stopped. Uh, now we can use this uh, IPG control because we have uh, simulated one time. So we can add many times. Like let's say add just uh, I want to add the uh, let's just add the car uh, velocity. Okay. Many options are there. We can add the many options from here. Like we have from steering, we have from uh, brakes as well. Okay. So PT, the PT. We. I just wanted uh, car velocity. Okay, but um, I just forget it that. It's car dot v i think okay car dot v okay so it's there velocity okay then you can also add um, y as uh, time okay y as time and then okay so then uh, you can just go to here and just say and just start it okay and definitely you will see curve here okay, okay. see look the curve is showing here and as the bump okay okay see the changes are done due to the change in the friction patch change in the bump uh, so that's think in the database you can take a snapshot of this data okay so these things are really important if you want to fit you can fit you want to fit totally you want to fit totally you want to fit vertically you can do you can fit horizontally all these things you can do uh, and this and if you don't understand anything just go to help just go click on the user manual you will be directed to user manual and just understand from these things uh, okay so we have covered uh, many things from here okay and now few notes from my side about this software this software is really uh, really helpful for virtual uh, testing of your car okay but definitely you need to study the user manual you need to try your hands on and that takes time okay so with this help of user manual you will definitely create a really good test run and if you are facing an error again go to the user manual iterate your values try uh, with the trial and error methods if the manuals are uh, wrong change them iterate them and uh, try to uh, uh, do iterations uh, and definitely you will get uh, optimized test run and after all these things just go to file save your test run okay if you want to save as you can save as tesla with the uh, example okay it's saved 
So this is all about the IPG Carmichael software. You can do, you can export, you can do analysis with the IPG control, you can do visualization with the IPG movie, you can parameterize your vehicle, you can generate your tires, you can uh, you can use this instrument control for okay let's i will show how it, how it is used instruments okay and just start you can you will see this here in these instruments see okay this is how uh, the the instrument control is useful because the battery is used battery is used as this is the electric drive so that's how is useful uh, and in the DVA again if you want to see you can uh, you can browse car dot V again I, I selected it okay it's not cutting selected okay V okay then again see start it will increase okay so this is how dva is useful and if you are participating in a competition uh, dealing with these features uh, will be sufficient for you and uh, thanks for watching thank you